Uh, mtazamaji ni dhahiri kwamba janga la corona limeathiri pakubwa maisha ya kawaida ya wakenya miongoni mwao ni watoto wa shule. Mathalan, si jambo la kila siku kwa shule kufungwa kwa zaidi ya miezi minane na watoto kusalia nyumbani kipindi hicho mfululizo. Kuna wale ambao hata kabla ya corona wamekuwa kipitia mazingira magumu. Je, yeah. watoto hao wanafanya nini kipindi hiki? Katika makala maalum ya masomo mashinani ya wamu ya pili, mwanabari wetu Makore Ongesha lizuru familia tatu kaunti za Nairobi, Kajiado na Bungoma. Na haya ndio makala yake. Katika shoroba hizi ndogo katika viumba hivi vya mabati mtaa wa mabanda wa viwandani jijini Nairobi ndipo watoto hao wanaendeleza masomo yao ambayo awali yalifanyika katika uwanja wa shule tofauti wanaposomea si hoja kwa sasa wapo mbali na shule na kwa miezi mine mfululizo tangu mwalimu mkuu wao kuwatangazia kwamba hawatahitajika shuleni hapo hapa pamekuwa uwanja na pia darasa lao ya mkini ndiyo kwanza safari ya kucheza hapa inangoa nanga Huu ni mtaa wa mabanda Una watu wengi na idadi ya watoto hapa ndiyo kubwa zaidi Familia ni tofauti hapa na watoto katika familia hizo Usomea shule tofauti Ila kwa wakati wote wamekuwa katika shule moja kila kuna pokucha mahusiano yao yanaongezeka wamekuwa marafiki wanashauriana wale ambao ni wakubwa kwa miaka wanawafunza wadogo mbinu tofauti kwa mfano msichana huyu wa darasa la tano anamfunza huyu mwenzake wa chekechea jinsi ya kucheza na kifaa hiki kiunoni tazama jinsi huyu mdogo anavomakinika na kuwa study mzee zabron ndieki ni mwenyeji wa mtaa huu ana watoto kumi ambao kwa pamoja na mkewe wanaishi katika chumba hiki. Halo. Ni chumba lakini kimegawanywa mara tatu kutoa nafasi kwa vyumba vingine tofauti kwa watoto wasichana na wavulana. Na kisha sebule. Anaonekana kutosheka na hali yake na maisha hapa na kuisifia familia yake karibu katika kila sentensi. Anatuelezea hadithi ya watoto wake ambapo wawili wa kwanza walipata zaidi ya alama nne katika darasa la nane. Gladys Riziki ambaye ni kifungua mimba na miaka ishirini na alihitimu kujiunga na chuo kikuu cha Jaikwat akiwa katika mwaka wa pili anaposomea hisabati. Ndugu yeye anayemfuata Eric Otoma alizoa alama nne KCPE na sasa ni mtainiwa wa kidato cha nne. Anasomea katika shule ya kitaifa ya Moy Forces Nairobi. Silamu zina mama mengi. Ina madawa ya kulevia, ina kutanganyika hawa watoto sana sana ukiwa jungusa wanatokanga nje na uwezi jua anaenda ku, kupatana na mtu gani lakini unapofuatilia na anaona mtoto huyo anaona kweli unamjua hata enda saidi kwa sababu anaovia kwa sababu unamjua tayari umemtambua tayari kwa miaka na mikaka semi za mitaa ya mabanda sawa na semi za kale zimekuwa ni zile zile lakini kuna wale ambao lengo lao ni kubadilisha semi hizo na kuzifanya hadithi tamu hadithi za kupigiwa mfano lakini sio katika mitaa ya mabanda pekee moja ya taswira ya kupigiwa mfano ni ile inayopatikana kilomita 20 kutoka mjini Kajiado hii ni sehemu inayopatikana viungani mwa kaunti ya Kajiado mwenye kuimiliki simulizi ya taswira hiyo ni mpano lekotit na ana miaka 19 sasa kwa muda mrefu jamii hii ilikumbatia ukeketaji wa watoto wasichana kushabikia ndoa za mapema na kumpa kipaumbele mtoto mvlana lekutita amewashuhudia wenzake wakiozwa mapema hata wakiwa katika shule za msingi mbali na kukabiliana na changamoto za kutembea kilomita kadhaa kabla ya kufika shuleni alikokuwa akisomea alizoa alama ya B+ katika mitihani ya KCC mwaka jana sasa akisubiri kujiunga na chuo kikuu cha Africa International University baadaye mwaka huu mzazi alisho again stand manager so alingangana kabisa kuhakikisha siko leo nasema tena for those who may drop ilikuwa kama trend kifika hapo you have to be married or you have to at least to pull umeonaka at that age but some parents give me but my mom never do me to say mari jangaru ati Mama yake na kina mama wenzake katika jamii wanatumia fursa hii watoto wapo nyumbani. Kwa mahasisha wanao na hasa wasichana jinsi ya kujipanga maishani. Wazee 
hapa eh, masaini wanaogopa sana kukaa na wasichana kwa hivyo unakuta mama tu ndiye anangangana kuongea na wasichana mama tu ndiye anangangana kuongea na, na wasichana kwa hivyo jukumu kubwa sana la mama ahakikishe huyu msichana wake wa amefungua moyo wake yote amueleze shida akishafungua hautapata tena shida kama ulikuwa na wasichana wawili ama watatu hautakuwa tena na shida na sasa wao saa hiyo huyo mtoto tu ile imefanya afungue moyo ni ile tunakuja kukaa jioni na sio mimi tu mwenyewe huyu mama wa, wa hiyo nyumba ingine na msichana wake ni huyu huyu mwingine na msichana wake ni huyu anaposubiri hali ya kawaida kurejea msichana huyu saidia katika kazi za nyumbani kujifunza majukumu tofauti kutoka kwa mamake na nyanyake kwa mfano hapa anajifunza kushona kutoka kwa nyanyake kwenye siku za kawaida shanga hizi wanazozishona huuzwa sokoni baadhi ya fedha zinazopatikana zikiwa akiba itakayolipia karo yake na kumsaidia chuoni atakapojiunga rasmi there's quite a very high risk of children dropping from schools those who are grown ups may not wish later to join school again when they have stayed for a long time out girls are likely to be big one are likely to be married off and even pregnancy but the whole situation it varies from place to place and from the level of awareness of their parents magharibi mwa kenya ni msimu wa mavuno hapa ni kandui kaunti ya bungoma na kama ilivyo dhahiri katika familia hii nyingine yenye watoto kumi kutoa maindi yaliyokomaa shambani ndio hoja ya siku wanafunzwa kauli ya mchumia juani ulia kivulini kwamba kila mtu huvuna anachopanda watoto katika familia hii hujifunza kauli ya umoja ni nguvu ili wapate fursa ya kucheza iwe kandanda au kuruka uzi ni lazima kila mmoja afanye jukumu alilopewa kama leo kuna wale wa kudondoa mahindi kabla hajaenda kusagwa kurandaranda au andarandarandi kwa sababu kiwaambia kitu wanasikia lakini waendi mahali kutembea tembea huku na huku hawana nyota pia kwa sababu baba yao ni mkali akiwaambia niko ninaenda nikiruti mwe mmefanya hii na hii akiruti anapata wamefanya kila kitu katibu katika wizara ya elimu mumina bonaya anarejelea kauli ya waziri wa elimu profesa George Magoha kwamba katika kipindi hiki watoto wanazidi kusalia nyumbani wazazi wadhihirishe jukumu lao la malezi kauli na upigwa jeki na mwenyekiti wa KICD daktari Sara Ruto this covid period will ultimately end and what will be left with us parents will be uh, fond memories of how we've spent our time Uh, with the children as government we are not asking parents to be teachers we are simply telling them to play the role that they are expected to play that is parenting talking of safety of our children i think the primary responsibility lies with the parent there are some who are working they probably leave in the morning and come back in the evening but you can still monitor what else uh, your child is engaging in you need to have um, work together to draw up a schedule mean a time table sort of where you know that your child at any given time is engaged in an activity and it is a safe activity that they are engaging in the discussion which we try to build in the parental engagement and empowerment pillar in the competency based curriculum is what each person is able to to do and and this is the sense of agency that you find with some parents and maybe what we need to urge is that we need to also have a sense of urgency because if you leave a child for a while it's very easy to lose that child so it is about what are these little things that collectively each person in their different spaces can be able to do makori ongechi uninga ya citizen